it's kind of annoying that it's like because <laughs> it's exactly Holy 130 shit. so the amount of time yo what's good what's going on everyone hope you're having a great day it's Neff. today you guys are going to be watching some dathia raid testing so in my other raid testing video I actually went through, you know, the entire boss and like kind of went through each mechanic individually. I think this time I'm just going to try to play the VOD from my stream. And then at the end, we'll go through like a log review uh, because I feel like doing kind of like a guide on each mechanic uh, on the boss right now when it's not finalized is kind of pointless. So eventually later on, I'll probably make, you know, a guide on each boss after like all of its mechanics are finalized and everything like that. So yeah, at the end, I'll just do a log review. We did end up wiping to this a couple times, but we did end up killing it. So I'll show a little bit of the first couple wipes and then I'll actually show the full kill. Yeah, I'll give a quick rundown on how this boss actually works. First, you just dodge tornadoes. Wee! 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 Oh my god. Wee! Wee! that go out throughout the room and add spawns that knocks you back over to these four platforms um add spawn it's kind of like zymox except zymox didn't have like a knockback mechanic to actually get you onto the platform uh but basically you kill the ad you get knocked back to the platform you kill one of those ads and then it knocks you back over to the main platform where the boss is and that's pretty much it you just do that a couple times so it's a really straightforward boss really easy to understand he does like a little suck in mechanic as well so if you get hit by the tornado and then you get sucked in you get like double knocked up and you just go flying in the air because if you get sucked into the middle of his sucking mechanic then you just go flying straight up to the top of that and you just <laughs> you just start flying all over the place especially as a dh watching the vod that uh <laughs> I, a couple times i was going all over the damn place and before i let the vod comms play uh, i do want to shout out my discord if you're not a part of that we're like 700 members link in the description give my ui away for twitch subs i have a shadow unit frames ui and an lv ui ui if you're a twitch sub join my discord and link your twitch account with your discord account you can get access to hidden channels uh to download my week and profiles and everything and if you're not subbed make sure you hit that sub button helps me out tremendously and i greatly appreciate it you were make sure you're going over Get up, go to the bathroom. Wait, can you still? Foolish non-mage classes? Okay, I'm getting flashbacks. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I, don't li I don't like it either, okay? If you don't like it, you press the button. Yeah, but then I... I think on Mythic you might actually not be able to do this because you have to like put the put the into the ads to empower them so that they actually come active. So they like put them the ads. Yeah, we're going to I'm going I think what would happen is just what you were talking about earlier. Sometimes it is awesome. Somebody else was. Yeah, where it's like you just have somebody go off the side. Because those are trying to do it earlier. I don't want another, I just want to breathe. If you take me higher, you stay close to me. Uh, that guy's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. He doesn't have any stats right now. Because I just heard like, 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 like,
have one rose up. Um, I do one where you can in your forest fire. Just uh, not. It might not kill one or two of these. I just stayed over the fence. Uh, no, it's dead. It's dead. I'm dumb. You can still get them while you're in here. Uh, it's probably good. Let me know if I need to, um, pop one of these and I can just die. Okay, I might be able to IVF and live and then take it a second time. Use everything. <laughs> Still my first incarnate, that shit's stupid. It don't matter where we go. It don't matter where we stay tonight. Cause when I'm with you, yeah, I know. Everything will be alright. It don't matter what we say. It don't matter how. It's 
So we're just going to glance through the logs really quick. I'm looking at just the kill. Immolation Aura doing our top damage uh, for some reason. I guess Burning Wound and Growing Inferno. Uh, Immolation Aura does a lot of damage. Like we're getting 20k ticks almost. That's pretty crazy. Um, Death Sweep with all of us instances of damage combined. I'm pretty sure it's like for sure our top damage. Uh, for some reason there's like four instances of Blade Dance. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but Death Sweep definitely big damage. Essence Break again, huge damage. Without Essence Break, Death Sweep wouldn't be doing this much damage. We're getting 160k crits, uh, sometimes even higher than that, when we have that Essence Break buff. So, Essence Break, I I love this as an ability now. Uh, it's way better than it used to be. Fell Rush, Unbound Chaos, I most people know how I feel about this. I hate Unbound Chaos, really wish it wasn't a thing. Using your mobility for damage is just a shit playstyle and should not be a thing. I don't think they're ever gonna get rid of that. It does kind of fit the Demon Hunter uh, theme, I guess, sort of, whatever, sure, but it's dog shit gameplay, in my opinion. Soul Rend, we definitely had a shit up time on this. Now, I definitely did not play this build as optimally as possible. I had like two hours, one or two hours of uh, actually playing this build before I got beta on PTR, and it really wasn't even the full build because on PTR, before I got beta, uh, you can only get to level 60, you can't get max level. So it wasn't the full build. And this is basically my first time ever playing with like the full, you know, level 70 build um, during this raid testing. So definitely could have played it a lot better. As you can see here, 57% of time. It's really dog shit. For some reason, Chaos Strike is doing crazy damage, uh, 5% uh, compared to Annihilation. Even though we only had four more Chaos Strikes, I guess Chaos Strike is only buffed by Essence Break. I don't think Annihilation is. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, we had four more Chaos Strikes. And annihilations and chaos strike did like double the damage i'm not sure what's going on there or why that is but it's very weird might be a bug i'm not sure maybe chaos strike is hitting with both weapons though this is annihilation chaos this is this has to be like the chaos damage i'm assuming yeah i'm not sure what's going on here i i think this is annihilation's bug uh because this should be doing more when you run demotic like annihilation is going to be way above chaos strike every time um, so something's got to be bugged with Annihilation, or the log is bugged, but I'm pretty sure that Annihilation's probably bugged. High Beam, Fell Dev, doing okay damage. Uh, in single target, it does like the same as it would in retail, but in AoE, it's definitely going to do a lot more damage. Uh, Trail of Rune, doing okay damage, 4%, not bad. The Hunt, I think this is the dot. No, this is the initial hit. And here is the dot. Uh, total... The hunt damage be 5%, about 6.1%. Here's another instance of death sweep, so not sure what's going on here. Uh, but yeah, we can add that to death sweep. Death sweep did what? Uh, 10, 11, plus about 15% of our damage. Burning wound, not too bad. Rage fire, not too bad. Another instance of blade dance. I have no idea where that's coming from. Demon blades. This is what I actually really wanted to see. Demon blades, we had 146 hits. How many melees do we have? 148. Our demon blades can miss when our melee doesn't miss. A yeah, fell blade 2%. Um, this does okay damage now because of uh, any means necessary. It turns this fire damage into chaos damage. It's throw glaive doing little to no damage. I definitely could have used it more on the adds. We probably use it more in single target. I mean, definitely because 
our solar end up time is terrible. This should be 100%. I easily make this 100% uptime, but I wasn't tracking it. And you know, like I said, I'm just dog shit. So what are you gonna do? Go over our talents one more time. You can check this out. I'll pause the video if you need. There's my uh, stats, everything you need to know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, found something useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Do you like this, you know, just watch the VOD type of video? Or do you want me to actually go through the boss's mechanics and actually, you know, kind of make a guide uh, sort of about it? Um, let me know what you want. Let me know what you like. Let me know how you feel about Demon Hunter going into Dragonflight. I think it's looking pretty good. It's a lot more fun to play than the uh, current iteration of Demon Hunter, which I'm really happy about. So, yeah, I'll see what tuning has in store for us. Hopefully, you know, they've been doing a pretty good job. Um, hopefully they keep it up and it'll be fun. It'll be a fun uh, expansion. Yeah, until next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.